There, I'm done. Boy, sure took you a long time to spell welcome Magda. Oh, I thought that'd be too boring. So instead, I decided to depict Magda's escape from Czechoslovakia. <laughs> but isn't that uh, barbed wire? <laughs> isn't it amazing what you can do with icing? Mm. Gee, you made that pack of dogs look very realistic. <laughs> But, Rose, the revolution in Czechoslovakia was a peaceful one. Nobody was chased by a pack of dogs. But they're good dogs, Rose. <laughs> Dorothy, cousin Magda. Oh, such a beautiful home. Who sleeps with government officials? <laughs> that would be my friend Blanche. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Mark. Thank you. And this is my mother, Sophia Petrillo. So, you're Stan's cousin. Please don't hold this against me. She's okay. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Tell me, where's Stan? Oh, is he parking the car? I take taxi. Stan and I have disagreement. Oh, what about? He saw himself as human being. I disagreed. Oh. But Dorothy, I have nowhere to go. I, I'm stranger in strange land. Oh, oh, don't send me to cheap motel. You have to pay for ice, just like at Stanley's. I think it's all right with Blanche if you stay here. You can have my room, I'll sleep with Ma. Oh, good, at least now when I wake up in the middle of the night screaming, I'll have a reason. What a day. Why, well, what's the matter? Where's Magda? You mean Flora, the red menace? <laughs> She's helping Rose unload the car. Is something wrong, Dorothy? I don't want to talk about it. Magda is driving us crazy. All she does is complain about how awful things are in America. Everywhere we went, something bothered her. We showed her the mall. She said we live in a plastic society with no soul. This was after I bought her beef sticks and spreadable cheese from Hickory Farms. <laughs> You look the rich take advantage of the poor. Now, how can you deny there are inequities in this society? Well, sure, there are inequities, but at least we treat everybody the same. <laughs> there must be something about this country you like. I like Slurpees. Like them? That's your fifth one of the last hour. <laughs> they taste so natural and fruit-like. <laughs> Slurpees are the best thing about America. Magda, how can you be such an expert on America when you've only been here a few days? I know that communist system is more fair. How can you say that? People all over the world are realizing that communism doesn't work. It worked for me. I had automatic can opener, I had toaster, and I was very near top of the list to get electricity. <laughs> For me, things were good. Yeah, but if things were good for you and bad for everyone else, how is that fair, comrade? Don't tell me about communism. I know what I know. I'm a communist. <laughs> this is terrible. I was raised to hate communists. I remember in the early 50s when McCarthy came to St. Olaf to speak in the town square. I was never so moved by a public speaker. Although some people thought he was a puppet for the right wing. No, wait, that was Charlie McCarthy. Oh, 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 oh. You drank the Slurpee too fast again, didn't you? Oh, it's like knife sticking in for you. The, the pain, it is, it is really good. No, the soul. Many books. I know, this is a bookstore. If you need me, I'll be in the bitter children of celebrity section. Don't get lost. Too many books, too many contradictory opinions next to each other. This leads to anarchy. These books represent different ideas. Dorothy, what's going to happen now? There is freedom. The people in my country are going to read all these books and be confused. Now, the way things were, we knew what to do. The choices were easy. When there is one road, no one gets lost. Magda, there are two books that I want you to read. The first one is Thomas Paine's Common Sense. I think it'll give you some idea of what freedom is all about. And the second is Vanna White's autobiography. Why should I read this? It's just a hell of a book. <laughs> Ma, Ma, I don't know how much more of Magda I can stand. 
We're so close to the Bermuda Triangle, it'd be a shame for her not to see it. You know, you really can't blame Magda. It's all this communist ideology that's been pumped into her. I hate communism. Of course you hate communism, Ma. It's because you were raised a fascist. The story of a woman is nothing but a, a vulgar collection of perverse sexual acts that are sheer and utter filth. <gasps> really gets me is I was willing to be friends. But just as I start to forgive and forget, Charmaine turns my life into a bestseller. Oh. You know something, Blanche? You're not the only one who ever had a problem with sister. I had very bad fight with my sister once. Oh, really? Tell us about it. I turned her over to secret police. <laughs> and? And what? I turned her over to secret police. No more to tell. <laughs> Ladies! Ladies, I have very bad news. I, I must shorten my stay, Dorothy. In fact, I'm leaving tomorrow. Dorothy, move the coffee table. I want to do a cartwheel. <laughs> I, I must return to Czechoslovakia immediately because of something very valuable I learned here. You finally understood what I was saying in the bookstore. No, no, no. No, Vanna White's book. <laughs> I told you. I left Czechoslovakia because I was afraid of change, afraid of the new freedom. But now I see in America, freedom is change. Always changing for the better idea. I want to be part of the future of my country. So I'm going home. Anyway, now I must go pack my things.